Yo, I've had all the stuff to make this video for like three months at this point, but I was just dreading, dreading cable management. It's such a pain in the ass. Now there's very few things on earth that can make your computer, make your studio, make your gaming setup, whatever you wanna call it, look worse than having shitty cable management. And right now, shitty cable management is what I have. Look at that cluster of just a bunch of nonsense down there. So having your cables look like that, especially after spending the amount of money that I have, is just, it's unacceptable. <laughs> we bought all the stuff necessary in order to tackle this little, this little job that we've been sitting on for four months, three months. And let me go through those with you right now in case you're someone who's potentially looking to have your cable situation much more organized. The first thing which is absolutely mandatory that you have in order to have a nice setup, especially if you're planning on mounting your, your uh, power strip, is a power strip with a long ass cable. The main draw is that this is like a 15 foot cable. So I can mount this thing under my desk, run the cable, run it down the leg of the, of the desk and then out and have it very inconspicuous. Another very important one is gonna be my display port cable. For people who use HDMI, you can find them long as well. This is a 15 foot display port. And the reason why I got a 15 foot display port is because my theory in doing this is that I'm gonna run through the arm on the other side. I'm gonna run it through the arm underneath. It's gonna travel alongside and then it's gonna go under down here like down the down the leg and then it's gonna come and we're gonna loop it tidy it up and then boom plug it in right here so i got two 15 foot cables i already have one for my furthest monitor so i only needed one technically so that's what, what that's for and obviously we got mounts this one right here is optional for most people this is only because i'm a streamer and i use my dslr photography camera for my for my streaming camera so this is a 15 foot hdmi to mini hdmi so that way i can run it in the same fashion that i'm doing with the display ports and then most importantly these are zip ties with a lot of zip tie anchors so you can just zip everything underneath the desk some people are going to tell you that they don't really like to do the zip tie versions because it's once you do it you have to cut the zip tie in order to like get it get the cables out doesn't matter to me, I don't plan on moving for a couple of years, so my, my setup is never gonna change. And if it does, this comes with like a hundred of them, so should be no issue. And then this right here is a cable management, little like snake thing. I'll show you when we get there, but either way, this is just to like make the cable, all the cables to bunch them together and make it just look like one cable to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. And then lastly, again, because I'm a streamer, this is really the only one that I was concerned about. This is Nima's camera for stream. The camera looked directly at her, but this cable wasn't long enough. So what I did is I bought a USB extension. This is like a 12 foot USB extension. And basically everything's gonna go right there, wrap around like if it's, if it's way too long and then it's all gonna be hidden behind the computer. And hopefully it looks nice. That, I mean, I really don't know what I'm doing. We're kind of just going with the flow. I guess let's get started. I feel like this should go without saying, but for those that I feel like I gotta say it, if then people are gonna be like, you didn't turn it off. Turn off your thing right here and then unplug the power strip. All right, let's get to work. Let's get to work. Young nigga used to think this was everything I need, right? Not so fond of change. I'm too caught up in my way of thinking. I get by on me. No, I don't need nobody. Yes, I was so naive. Somehow I'm still all in on me. Yeah, yeah. Way too many times I let the ball drop. Now I'm Steph Curry with the wrist flick. So they cold shoulders never defrost. No deal, but I pre-floss with the money tree in a deep pot. So I'm corner wings with the rundown. Bitch, I'm all in the fit with the cleats off. Everything that I want out of reach. I had the tunnel vision, couldn't see far. Negative vibes that I feed off. Got me up and down like a seesaw. All these decoys hit the destroy. Usually keep it poised, but it's ultra violent with the power moves. When I deploy for the real ones, I wanna feel something. Alright, so. First things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. But for real, I can't like half-ass do it. Like if I'm gonna do this thing, I'm gonna do it all the way, you know? So I just got rid of every single cable that was under there. All the cables right here, I still gotta straighten them out. But this is clean. This is eventually what I hope the whole thing looks like. Nothing's plugged into anything. So I'm gonna clear these up, label them, make them organized like on the ground, and then slowly start to put things in one by one. Hi. All right here, this is every single cable that attaches to anything. And I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the first place that I should start is by mounting the power strip and then connecting everything to it in a way that I see that I see is gonna look aesthetically pleasing but still be functional at the same time. So let's do the display ports first and then run them along, specific, specifically this one. We gotta go down and then run it all the way across and then all the way on the underneath side. So that's what we're gonna do right now. 
yeah, 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 Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. Show us up, I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't fuck with these niggas. Always been one up on all of these niggas. They be trying to front for all of these bitches. But I ain't got time cause they all in they feelings. I to the gang and we making a killing. It's 2020 and they notice the vision. I don't know how well y'all can see what I just did. All right, so this is the monitor plug for my left monitor. It goes right here. And then it plugs in. This is the power. This is the uh, power block for it. I anchored the power block, plugged it in right there, zipped all this together so it doesn't hang, and then zipped it again onto the actual desk. It might not be the most elegant solution, but it does the job. And like I said, I'm not gonna be moving this shit too often, so I don't care the way it actually works as long as it works. If you're someone who cares about ease of use in terms of like moving all your stuff around, this is definitely not gonna be the, the solution for you because this is pretty permanent. But like I said, I don't plan on moving anything for like years, so. It is what it is. So this one's running from here, zip tied all the way up, tied to the desk, all the way more, excess tied together, hit on the desk, and then plugged in right here. And then the cable just runs, it's a short right, it's short right here, and then goes all the way. But when you're looking from this side, you can't see anything. So now it's time to like, this is the actual display port cable number one, display port cable two. I'm gonna zip tie and anchor these to the desk. I'm gonna tie these two together once we get past the second monitor. And it's just gonna run right here across and then straight this way and it's gonna come straight down this leg and then i think right here when it comes straight down and then i think right here when it comes straight down i think that's where i'm gonna put that black sheathing so that way you it looks like one cable coming along nicely it's a little bit of a pain in the ass but it's gonna day it's a day long project don't go into it assuming that you're gonna be done in 30 minutes because ain't no way in hell let's keep going you be the hero i'm playing the villain the underdogs and we walk in the villain we getting money what? So we all touch a million, don't ever forget, but we probably forgive my nigga, I'm living. Taking the cards that was given, my blessings is already written. Wrapped little ribbon, putting ourselves in positions to making some major decisions. That was the interface for the microphone. Again, this is a whole ass streaming setup, so it's got more per peripherals than normal, which is, pro which is probably why it's taking me a little bit longer than normal. Gotta hook up all this bullshit, you know? So we got the MIDI cable running down the arm. I fastened it with those sticky mounts and then this just runs. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna like tie this up so it doesn't hang so much like that. And then it runs right here. This is another MIDI cable that goes underneath to the top. And then what I gotta buy, what I don't have, is this feeds out through USB-C. So I need a longer USB-C so I could bundle it with these. So I gotta probably order that from Amazon right now. And then also same thing over here for the uh, for the stream deck. The cable's not long enough to be bundled with all of these. So I probably gotta order a little bit longer cable. I personally think it's coming along real nice, but I guess we just gotta wait to see. I gotta, I gotta order those things right now, and then we'll cut to a different day. I got a table for two, way in the back. So we got the two cables right here. We pretty much did everything that we needed to do last time. It was just I had two short cables. This is a, uh, a USB-C, a USB 3.0 for the uh, stream deck, so I can control like stream and all of those, all the scenes, yada yada yada. And then this one right here is just USB-C to USB-C. And it sure is, six foot, and this is for my focus right. So everything is solid. All these cables are gonna be bunched. This is the only cable that's too short. That's why it's not like in the bunch, because if I bunched it up, it wouldn't reach. So let's just go ahead and do these last two cables and see what this bitch looks like, you know? All right, so peak game. So if we go under the desk, this is what the desk looks like underneath. Power brick right there, cables, power brick, plugged in, and then this runs down the side, and then goes under the dog bed, and then right there. All the cables that are coming, they run right underneath, then they run all the way through. The cables that are coming from here, they come down, they come down right here, through here, and then bunch up, and then run all the way down, and then, all the way down, everything loops right there, plugs in back of the computer. The only thing that I need to do now, and this is probably not even something that's necessary, but just to make sure that all the cables look good, 
you know, not different colors. I got red, I got black, I got gray. That's actually fine because it matches the color palette of my actual desk, but I want them to all be one. So I bought this tubing. I'm gonna cut it down to size and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this tubing all the way to the back of the computer. All right, it might've been a little long. That's all right. Boom. All right, and like I said, again, this is not another necessary step, but I would rather just have it all look decent than not. So we're gonna take all of this and we're gonna bunch all this together with a zip. Cut tie, cut tie. All right, now the very last step is to take this and tie it right here so it doesn't just hang down. And I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. This project took hella longer than I thought it was going to. But at the end of the day, satisfying, yo. Bruh, tell me how my battery dies on my camera like as soon as I'm giving the reveal of everything that I've done. So here we are with the reveal one more time, but now I'm using my iPhone. Like boom, yo. Like, look at this. Every cable is under there. Every cable that we started out with is there. The only thing about this cable management thing is one, it's a pain in the ass, right? I'd be lying if I said that it kind of wasn't a pain in the ass. Like it took way longer than I thought it. I'm sure there's faster ways to do it, but the method that I went with that I thought would be easiest for me, it, 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 took, it took some time. But not only that, I will say you have to invest money into cable management. Like the cables, if you're trying to do it for free, it's not possible. Like you're gonna have to live with what's under there because the cables are not gonna be long enough to manage them in the way that is possible. I think all in all, I might've spent $150 maybe. But in the long run, what's the $150 gonna look like? What, who cares about that? Who cares about that when you can come in like, this is what you're looking at, you know what I'm saying? Ignore this section. Like this has nothing to do with the cable management video. Most people are only concerned about how to do it under the desk. So that's what I did. That's what it looks like. Nima's approval. But yeah, I hope everybody appreciated this video. If you got any entertainment or any information out of it or any kind of like drive to want to do this, I highly suggest it. But if you did, consider liking the video and leaving a comment down below. Maybe this video in like two years will have a million views just because of just because I made a video that's relevant. You know what I'm saying? But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Like I always say at the end of all of my videos, especially my main videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Hopefully it's not doing this ever again. Peace.